Hi everyone, hope all are doing well. Namaskar, welcome back to Remote Sensing BI Zoom. Hope all are doing well. So, in this particular lecture, we have uh, designed for different type of query. I have got many query from the different type of students. What are the eligibility criteria for gate geomatic engineering? What are the subjects? What are the question pattern? Uh, how many section we need to cover? Either section 1, section 2 or section uh, basic of remote sensing GIS or surveying mapping or the digital image processing. So all about know that gate geomatic engineering, uh, not only gate geomatic engineering, all subjects that related to gate from club already started from 24th August. Okay, and last date will be 25th September. So please register yourself for the gate geomatic engineering. So uh, today's session we have learned about the what are the eligibility criteria, what are the uh, different section will be covered in the gate, what type of the question may be come, what are the uh, criteria, if I have uh, a mistake, a question, so how many have the negative marking and at the different section like a question pattern, syllabus, question cover. So don't skip the video, please uh, watch the video enter. After that, you have a clear cut idea about the gate geometric engineering. So also we have a uh, paid course for gate geometric engineering. The link will be uh, given in the below description box. Okay, so those are wanted to guidance from the uh, expertise. Okay, right now we have a fourth mentor. So we are the expertise and another mentor is newly come, Kai Tarun. So you can get the different type of criteria, sections and their expertise, mock test. Okay, so later we will be discuss about this. This is not today topic. Otherwise you have to be, uh, sir will be promoted the subject everything. Okay, so let's go to the uh, today topic. Today topic is eligibility criteria and syllabus for gate geomatics engineering 2025. This year uh, IIT Roorkee have organized gate. Okay, so let's see the at first what are the eligibility criteria. Okay, so there is the various type of eligibility criteria. At first is B, B Tech, B Pharma. Okay, those are the bachelor degree engineering technology. Four years after they can do. Also currently those are in third year okay then be architecture for fail uh, if final pass out or the third year students bsc research bs pharma d mbbs bsc okay so now question is for my category geomatics engineering who are eligible eligible everyone okay like a bsc agriculture bsc uh, uh, botany bsc anything okay those are in the already passed out and those are in running like a first year students okay or those are already completed their sixth semester then msc students like a uh, those are pursuing msc in remote sensing gis okay those are pursuing uh, btech also in geoinformatics again sixth semester professional society examination bsc and even if anyone has a ba degree okay ba ba bachelor of arts he or she also eligible for gates geomatics engineering okay right then what are the different section okay so the question pattern and exam mode is cvt computer based test duration is 3 hours and number of subjects is or 30 test paper in different different combination so there is a two section one is the general aptitude another is your subject matter okay so what are the type of question is asked it is asked MCQ multiple choice question, MSQ multiple select question and numerical answer type question. Okay. So there is a different type of the test of abilities like a recall, unity recall, comprehension, application, analysis and synthesis. Okay. Then now apart from this you go to your subject marks. So the different subject like a for geometrics, engineering, 55 for the engineering and uh, basics part like a remote sensing GIS, GNSS, okay, and for 30 marks either section 1 that is surveying and mapping and section 2 that is the digital image processing, okay, right, clear, now go to the syllabus content, okay, so this is the general aptitude, total marks is 15, so 
for all the category okay for all 30 subject so one is verbal aptitude like a basics english grammar tense article adjective preposition conjunction okay noun pronoun this type of also the may be come reading comprehension okay then qualitative aptitude like a like a some types of square power uh, re, uh, mathematical uh, okay combination series measuration geometry elements so different type of question may be come then analytical aptitude like a logic deduction analogy numerical then spatial aptitude okay uh, assembling group paper folder cutting so spatial aptitude you need to mark cover okay every time one or two question come this question carry two marks okay now geometrics engineering those are want to a geometrics engineer for the future okay any academic research any field so this section is cover total how much cover now 55 marks okay total cover is 55 marks so one is part a common engineering mathematics and basics geometrics so engineering mathematics like a surveying measurement accuracy precision most probable value error their adjustment regression analysis correlation coefficient okay so from this section how much may be cut maybe 13 to 15 marks may be come okay 13 to 15 marks come from this section then remote sensing basics concept electromagnetic spectrum spectral signature like uh, asking okay temporal radiometric resolution different sensor type then gnss principal use component of gnss so this is the one of the toughest subject and this is also gnss okay so both combination of the gnss and engineering mathematics every time every time the marks greater than 25 okay dono mila ke kitna aa sakta hai 25 se zyada marks aata hai maine dekha 2022 mein 2023 mein and 2023 mein already 3 year ho chuka hai okay so aapko engineering mathematics mein acha dhyan dena chahiye aur gnss mein bhi acha dhyan dena chahiye now this is remote sensing is very easy topic okay now some little bit calculation may be come and gis gis is very easy okay you need to reading too much now go to the so total here total engineering mathematics and basic geometrics is cover total marks is how much 55 total 55 marks is cover from this section after that surveying and mapping now is the vital questions okay so many students are asking uh, sir, I am choosing uh, go for the surveying or mapping or the image processing. So, my suggestion those are from strong mathematics background, like a 10 plus 2 have a mathematics or some uh, good idea about the trigonometric calculation, okay, or those are from the civil engineering in engineering background or BSc background, like a mathematics, they can choose as the surveying and mapping, okay, because this section is little bit easy, the map, okay, but land serving difficult too much difficult and aerial photogrammetry is moderately difficult okay so you need to focus the calculation so how much number is come from this section total number is 30 from this section then go to the image processing and analysis so who will be choose this image analysis and processing and analysis okay now those are from Remote sensing background like a BSc geography, BSc geology, <coughs> currently pursuing in remote sensing and GIS or qualified, okay, or any non background those not related to the uh, serving and mapping, they can choose basics processing and analysis, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> image processing and analysis, okay. So, there is the data quantization process, digital image processing, radiometric and geometric correction. image enhancement image transformation image segmentation and classification so total marks is also 30 from this section okay so this is the numerical portion this is also numerical portion image enhancement radiometric correction okay so how many question 5 to 6 question theoretical based and 7 to 8 question numerical based okay so multiple mcq then msq and numerical answer type okay <coughs> there is no negative marking in 
MSQ. There is no negative marking MSQ, but negative marking in MCQ. Okay. Also, same applicable for the numerical answer type. There is no negative marking, but for MCQ, for a question mark carrying one mark, the negative mark is one by three. That means point three three is the negative mark. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Similarly, for two marks, two by three, okay, that is point six six. Clear, right? Then example of MCQ uh, in visible region, the blue light is having wavelength range of which section you need to choose the appropriate answer. That is zero point four two zero point five two micrometer. Okay, if you drag it or choose it, so you may be get one mark. Okay, otherwise. Point three three minus marking. Then MCQ for which statement is the correct for the hyperspectral image? For MCQ, you need to choose more than one. Okay, one is bandwidth large, bandwidth narrow, number of bands are more, bands are contiguous. Okay, the correct answer is bandwidth is narrow, number of more bands, and bands are contiguous. Okay, so so you have got the two marks. Okay, suppose one thing. Total option is here. Right option is one, two, three. But if you choose this one and this one, so you have also got the zero mark. Okay. Whenever you have fulfilled the all the correct option, then after that you have got the full mark. Not partial marking is available for this section. Then also NAT type question, some numerical, mathematical. Okay. You need to calculate this data and <coughs> answer it. So now, subject-wise, we need to understand question pattern for GATE <coughs> 2025 G. So general aptitude, 10 questions come, total marks is 15. For part A common, MCQ may be um, 19, MSQ 9, NTA 8, total 36 questions come from the part A common section, 55 marks, part B section 1, that is 9 question MCQ. Four question MSQ and NTA that is the numerical question is six total nineteen question thirty marks carrying and part B section two eight question MCQ six MSQ five and total question is eighteen and total marks is thirteen okay overall is a hundred marks so this is the a question pattern analysis in for gate two thousand twenty two. You can prepare this type of chart to understand. Like a general aptitude, five question comes, one mark, five question comes, two marks total, five into one plus five into two, fifteen marks. For part A common, sixteen question, MCQ question, one mark, two marks question, three. Then there is MCQ, not single one mark question. MSQ are always uh, two marks question. Okay. Then NTA also one mark question and Seven marks question. So there is uh, sixteen plus seventeen one marks question. Okay, and nineteen two marks question. Total fifty five. Again for serving and mapping, uh, seven question one mark, two question two mark MCQ. Okay, four MSQ question two mark, one NTA marks and five total thirty and thirty. So this is a clear cut idea about the question type. So you can understand very easily or you can go to the previous year's question and you can analyze the question from which section and how much marks are coming. Okay. So uh, right now we have offering the uh, GATE Geometric Signature 2025 trade batch. Okay. So what we have offering? Now we have offering for a uh, general aptitude and common engineering mathematics and basic geometrics that will be covered. Verbal amplitude, quantitative amplitude, analytical amplitude, spatial amplitude, then engineering mathematics, remote sensing, GNSS, and GIS. Okay, so total cost for this course is only for two five double zero rupees for a one year validity. Okay, for one year validity. So all you have got lecture series, live lecture, recorded video already available. Okay, um, then class notes, mock test and one to one guided. Okay, one to one means, so suppose for the entire session, you have 
uh, interact with any mentor one to one session that is session is 30 minutes okay so you can ask about doubt query anything regarding this or after get qualify if you want to uh, select a mock interview like uh, how you prepare for the uh, mock interview that's also be provided by the apps now go to the second section those are uh, interested for serving and mapping one thing this section will be covered total marks how much now 15 plus 55 okay so to 15 plus 55 that means 70 marks will be covered from this section on the rupees of 2500 okay 25 100 rupees only then go to the serving and mapping serving and mapping three section map land serving and aerial photogrammetry okay this will be cover only 2000 rupees okay for first 10 students you have a special offer 500 discount okay 500 discount so 10 students only get only 1500 for only 10 students your are first come first basis okay so this section will be cover 30 marks then go to the next next for the dip so dip is the image processing and analysis data quantization and processing digital image processing radiometric correction image enhancement image transformation image segmentation and classification okay this also same rupees 20000 okay but for 10 students first come first basis only 1500 okay 1500 rupees only for 10 students remember after that you need to purchase in 2000 rupees okay 2000 rupees so this section of all the 30 marks okay so all the course dis uh, description below link box or below description we have provided the link about the course their material so you can explore it also download the app from the play store okay now what are the career opportunity most of the students are asking after get what we have doing okay so one is different type of job is available like a gis executive GI, geometric analyst gis engineer remote sensing expert urban planner okay apart from this those are wanted to engage in academic line for phd okay phd one of the opportunity from iit okay they can do phd from very reputed nit iit by the gate qualify okay after that psu psu like a now in the recent year three psu have directly recommended by on the basis of gate score one is ntro okay second is navad and third is agriculture crop insurance company okay so in upcoming days there is opportunity increases maybe one by one okay so uh, you need to prepare for yourself for the different type of opportunity okay either tata steel also tata uh, steel tata uh, mining okay they have take the remote sensing gi students for the different purpose okay as a mining engineer or the project engineer so what are the books this is the books for the basics of remote sensing gis remote sensing of the environment a earth perspective gr jensen very good book okay then remote sensing and gis b bhatkar basudev bhatko it is the indian author book in very easy language it is related okay then remote sensing and image interpretation lilith and kifar uh, man okay and for the geographic information system this all for the basic section like a 55 marks okay then go to the serving and mapping okay dr bc punia and ashok kumar jain and arun kumar jain volume 1 then go to the digital image processing and perspective fourth edition okay and this is for the those are section b remote sense uh, digital image processing and analysis okay so thank you everyone i will provide the a google form on the below link please uh, fill up this form those are wanted to join as a paid batch okay so thank you hope you have uh, understanding overall idea about the gate geometrics engineering if you have uh, any idea any query you can join our telegram channel and you can message through the app and you can mail us to different query and section thank you see you in the soon in the class